Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on sending personalized bulk emails in Gmail for free. Whether you're looking to save time on your outreach, improve engagement, or make your email marketing more efficient, this video has got you covered. We'll be breaking down every step so you can start sending personalized emails to multiple recipients without losing that personal touch. Are you ready? Let's get started. First things first, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of the new subscribers joining us today. If this is your first time here, I'm Jake Dawson, your friendly guide to all things AI, sales automation, and workflow hacks. I keep things simple, actionable, and most importantly, fun. And as always, remember everything that we cover here is to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but strategies that you can implement right now and make your life easier. Now, before we jump into it, if you're new to the channel or just looking for more ways to level up, make sure you check out the school community linked below. It's where we keep all the exclusive make.com templates. Yes, including the one we'll be using today. You can import it and start automating your task immediately. Also, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell button so you never miss out on automation adventures. All right, enough of the chit chat. Let's dive right into it. Today, we're going to set up a system to send personalized bulk emails using Gmail, Google Sheets, and make.com. It's like having a personal assistant, but without the awkward small talk. Seriously, this setup is perfect for sales teams, marketers, or really anyone who's sending out emails to a lot of people, but doesn't want it to feel like a mass email. You know that weird spammy feeling you get when you receive a mass email? Yeah, we're going to avoid that, and instead, we'll make every email feel like it was handcrafted for each recipient. Sounds like magic, right? Well, it's about to become reality. We're breaking this process into simple steps that anyone can follow. Whether you're a tech expert or like me, you sometimes forget which tab you're in. First up, you'll need a make.com account. If you're not familiar with make.com yet, it's a tool that helps you automate all kinds of tasks. And the best part, it's free to sign up. And let's be honest, who doesn't love free? I'll walk you through the whole process of building an automation that pulls your recipient's details from a Google Sheet and sends customized emails through Gmail. Sound good? Let's do this. First step, head over to Google Sheets and create a new spreadsheet. Name your columns with titles like first name, last name, email address, product, and last interaction date. These are all the details that will make your emails feel personal. Don't skimp on the details here. This is what's going to make your email stand out in a crowded inbox. So picture this. Your recipient sees their name in the subject line, something specific about the product they're interested in, and all of a sudden, they feel like you're speaking directly to them. That's what we're going for. Next, we're going to hop over to make.com. If you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and create an account. It's quick and free, which are my two favorite words. Once you're all signed up, go ahead and click create a new scenario. Now, scenario in make.com is basically just a fancy word for a workflow or automation that you're building. This is where the magic happens. We'll be connecting Google Sheets to Gmail so make.com can pull the data from the sheet and send out emails automatically. No more copying, pasting, or using clunky email merge scripts. We're leveling up here. Now, when you're in make.com, you'll click the little plus icon and search for Google Sheets. Choose Search Rows which means it will look for new or updated rows in your sheet. It's like make.com's way of keeping an eye on your Google Sheet for any changes or new entries. Authenticate your Google account. Make.com needs access to your Google Sheets to work its magic. If you're like me, you'll probably have to stop for a second and remember which Google account you're using. Yeah, we've all got more than one. And yes, I know it's a hassle to keep track of them all, but it's worth it. Once you're all signed in, select the specific spreadsheet you just created, and then choose the sheet you're working with, probably something like clients or sheet one, depending on how creative you got with the name. Now we need to configure a few fields to tell make.com what to do. Choose the column where you expect updates, most likely the email address or a timestamp column, and decide how many rows make.com should process at a time. A default of 100 should work, but you can adjust that depending on how many emails you're sending. Finally, leave the maximum retries at default unless you're feeling adventurous. And if you are, good for you. But for today, let's just keep it simple. Now it's time to compose your email. Create a new Google Doc that's going to act as your template. The beauty of this process is that even though you're sending bulk emails, each one is going to feel like a personal message. In the subject line, use placeholders to make it personal, something like, 
Hi, first name. Your exclusive offer is waiting. You can even throw in a little excitement with some emojis if that's your style. For the body of the email, do the same thing. Use placeholders like first name, product, and last interaction date to make it feel like you wrote it just for them. You could say something like, hey, first name, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to share some exciting updates about product with you. Make it warm, personal, and to the point. When you're done, save the document and boom. Step one complete. You're already halfway to becoming an email automation master. Now that we've got the email template sorted, let's go back to make.com and set up the Gmail module. This part is just as easy as setting up the Google Sheets connection. Click the plus sign, search for Gmail, and choose the action, send an email. Authenticate your Gmail account just like you did with Google Sheets. If you're using a personal Gmail ending in gmail.com, you might need to jump through a few extra hoops to get it working with make.com, but don't worry, I've got a tutorial linked in the description that will walk you through it. It's quick and you'll be all set in no time. Once Gmail is connected, we need to map the data from Google Sheets into the email. This is where the placeholders we just set up in the email draft come into play. For the to field, grab the email column from Google Sheets. For the subject line, copy the subject line we just crafted and paste it here. Instead of first name placeholder we have in the text, replace it with the first name value from our Google Sheets. This is what's going to make each recipient feel like you crafted this email just for them. The body of the email works the same way. Use placeholders like first name and product to make it personal. What we're doing here is creating a template that pulls data from the columns in your Google Sheet. So each recipient gets an email tailored just for them. Instead of manually typing individuals' emails, which would take forever, you're setting up placeholders in your email draft that get automatically replaced with the right data for each person on your list. It's like filling in the blanks, but way cooler because it's automated. This method ensures that your email feels personalized even though you're sending it to multiple people at once. Let's break it down a little further. When you type something like, hi, first name, I wanted to tell you more about product in the body of an email, you're not actually typing their name or the product details just yet. You're telling Gmail and make.com, hey, here's a spot where I want you to pull the recipient's first name. Here's a spot where I want you to pull a product that they're interested in. These placeholders, first name and product, are like empty buckets that get filled with the right data when the email is sent. Now, to make sure those buckets get filled correctly, you need to replace each placeholder with the right data from the column that you got from this Google Sheet. This is where the magic happens. When you link make.com to your Google Sheet, it grabs the data from each row, one for each recipient, and matches it to the placeholders in your email. The final step in this setup is to automate the process. Click on the clock icon at the bottom of the page in make.com to set the schedule for when you want the scenario to run. Do you want it to check for new rows every 10 minutes, hourly, daily? It's totally up to you and how often you're updating your Google Sheet. If you're like me, you'll probably want to automate it as much as possible so you don't have to keep going back to it. It's one less thing to worry about and who doesn't want that? Now let's test it out. Add some test data to your Google Sheet. Maybe put in your own email address so you can see exactly what the email will look like. Click run once in make.com to execute that scenario. This is where we cross our fingers and hope everything goes smoothly. Check your Gmail inbox and see if the email came through. And make sure all the placeholders got replaced with the correct data. If you see hi first name instead of hi Jake, something's not right and you'll want to go back and check the mappings. It's a small hiccup, but it's easily fixable. Now, assuming everything looks good and it will because you're awesome, you're ready to roll. You've just automated your bulk email outreach with personalized emails. Take a moment to sit back and feel like a tech wizard because what you just built is pretty slick. And best of all, it's free. No paying for fancy software or hiring someone else to do it. You did it yourself. And that's something to be proud of. So before we wrap this up, let's quickly talk about a few use cases. One common use case is client outreach. You've got a list of clients who have shown interest in a product. Maybe they signed up for a demo, but never followed through. Set up the Google Sheet with their info, including the product they were interested in, and then craft a personalized email to re-engage them. Something like, hey, first name, I noticed you showed interest in product a while back. 
we've got some exciting updates that I think you'll love. Let's reconnect. So make.com will automatically pull the client info from your sheet and send the personalized email to each person on your list. Nice, right? This method helps you stay on top of your client interactions without manually emailing every single person on your list. Another great use case is following up on sales leads who haven't responded. We've all been there. Waiting on that reply that never comes, it, it's frustrating. But with automation, you don't have to sit around and wait. Use make.com to track how long it's been since the last interaction, and then set up a follow-up email to automatically go out after, say, seven days of no response. You could send something like, hi, first name. I just wanted to follow up on our last conversation about product. It's been X days since we last spoke, and I'd love to know if you're ready to take the next step. You're staying on top of your follow-ups without having to actually do any of the manual work. Plus, it makes you look super on the ball, which makes a great impression on your prospects. No one likes being forgotten, and, and this kind of follow-up keeps the conversation alive without you having to remember every detail. It's like setting up your own personal assistant to nudge your leads at just the right time. But that's not all. Let's talk about another fantastic use case, upselling and cross-selling to existing customers. You've got a list of customers who are already using one of your products and services, right? Well, why not use the same automation to introduce them to another product or service that complements what they already have? This is a great way to increase customer lifetime value without coming across as pushy. Here's how it works. In your Google Sheet, create a related product or next best product column alongside your customer's current product information. Then use make.com to send out personalized emails that mention what they're currently using and suggest the next logical upgrade or cross-sell. For example, hi, first name, since you've been using current product, I think you'd really benefit from our new product. It works perfectly alongside of what you already have and can help you get even better results. This kind of tailored messaging feels much more helpful than just a generic sales pitch. Your customer feels like you're paying attention to their specific needs and that you're offering something that's actually relevant to them. It's a win-win. Your customer feels valued and you potentially get more sales. You could use this same system to send out personalized holiday greetings to clients, partners, or customers. Just imagine how nice it would be to send each client a message that says, Hi, first name, wishing you and your family a wonderful holiday season. Thank you for being a valued part of our community. It's thoughtful and personal, but again, it's automated, saving you hours of work. This method can also be used for account management. Let's say you've got a roster of clients who each have a different renewal date, services, or upcoming tasks. You can set up your Google Sheet to track these key dates or milestones and use make.com to automatically send out reminders or check-ins. For example, if you manage subscriptions, you could send a personalized email that says, hi, first name, just a friendly reminder that your subscription to product is up for renewal on date. Let us know if there's anything we can assist you with. This keeps you proactive in managing accounts without needing to manually keep track of each client's timeline. This system is so flexible that it can handle almost any scenario where you need to send personalized automated emails. The key takeaway here is that automation doesn't have to mean sacrificing personalization. By using placeholders and pulling in specific details from your Google Sheet, each email feels like it's been carefully crafted just for that recipient. And as we all know, the more personal and relevant an email feels, the more likely it is to get opened, read, and acted upon. So there you have it. Whether you're looking to re-engage leads, upsell to existing customers, or simply send a thoughtful holiday message, this automated system has you covered. You've just built a tool that saves you time, keeps your communication personalized, and helps you stay on top of your outreach without breaking a sweat. If you found this tutorial helpful, do me a favor and smash that like button. It helps the channel grow and it's totally free. Also, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you never miss out on the next automation adventure. If you're hungry for more, be sure to check out the school community link below where you'll find exclusive templates, tutorials, and a bunch of automation enthusiasts just like you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember to keep automating and having fun with it. Until next time, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next video.